Hello guys. This is the next series I promised about gear, lenses and everything I use on my photo shoots and why I use it. So today's hero is this legacy lens which is Zeiss Sonar 200 millimeters f2.8 aperture lens. This is all metal glass lens. Sorry, I will read specs from from the screen <clears throat> because I don't keep in my mind all that stuff. But as you can see, it's pretty big. Front element, which is 77 millimeters filters size and which I like because uh, for Fuji system this is the biggest filter I ever need on any lens uh, actually in Fuji lens lineup the only two lenses which have 77 millimeters is uh, Fujinon 16 to 55 f2.8 lens which I'm filming now and big telephoto zoom uh, 100 to 400 uh, millimeters so i can have one filter as polarizer as also nd filters and uh, we adapters use it on all other smaller lenses so it's also very convenient uh, about this lens this lens is this lens is all metal, uh, screw mount lens hood, which we just screw on, and so this is the size of a lens. Uh, lens is built from metal and glass, as we all expect from that age. It is screw mount M42 and we can use it on Fuji cameras with adapter from M42 screw mount to Fuji X mount. These adapters can be bought on eBay, Amazon, everywhere. I think also in local photo stores and they cost nothing I think where is my so this is my yeah it's pretty big but it's light it's also full metal and aluminium or what it is never mind so you screw it on and you are ready to go to put it on camera I will take my XT1 because on XT2 we are filming and let's put it on. So, yeah, it's a little bit funny. So big lens on so small body. But as I usually use it with battery grip, so it gets more comfortable with that big lens. Of course, this lens is better used on a tripod because on Fuji camera you get effectively about 300 millimeters focal length which is actually the reason why I bought this lens. I want it long and fast telephoto lens for my Fuji. It's made in Germany. It has six ele elements. View angle is 12.5 degrees or something. Minimum focus distance is 2.2 meters. Uh, filter thread is M77. And again, our light is out. So, just a second. And I'm back. Okay. And it has multi coatings. There is two versions of them. Uh, one is 
without anything. On other it's written electric, which means it has uh, electric contacts. But on Fuji camera it doesn't mean anything. Uh, the lens itself is very sharp. Also, it's pretty challenging to get something in focus. Uh, when the aperture is wide open and and you keep it in hands handheld it's it's hard but it's n not impossible of course it's possible only it takes time you're a little bit slower however if you strap it down and uh, you understand what how aperture works that it's not just a light but it's also means your depth of field and you can shoot a lot of things uh, by the way uh, a few weeks ago a week or two ago uh, i was shooting with this lens uh, new bombardier c cs 300 plane plane when it's arrived in our airport for the first time is the newest and the greatest plane from Bombardier which bought our national air company Air Baltic. So we were near me and some other guys we were near uh, airport and waiting for the plane and I shot the plane with this lens and XT2 camera and must admit I was pretty surprised when I saw that mostly all pictures I shot was in focus. I was shooting about f5.6 5, 5 some, somewhere there. Maybe something was f8. So it's not that hard to get uh, in focus. Where I, where I see this lens useful for me. I like this lens uh, a lot when I shoot cars, car portraits. Uh, I have done a few and when you get them in focus it's so rewarding. It's amazing. The compression it gives, the shallow depth of field you get on f2.8 uh, the sharpness, contrast, color rendition, everything is just great. But what is the best about this lens is the price. It's so cheap. If you are lucky you can find it for 100 euros, dollars, whatever. Uh, of course, better ex better uh, condition like this, it will cost you somewhere about 300 euros. Uh, you just need to search for it. There are not many, but there are a few on eBay. I have sold them. And if you can get it, get it. It's cheap. It's fun to play with and it's really really great results from it. Also it's interesting for portraits, uh, for bokeh is just amazing for this lens. Search for it, google it, if you want get one, uh, you won't disappoint it and it's not hard to sell it if you don't like it. Of course it's big, it's heavy compared to something else but if you are coming from DSLRs and those lenses you won't find that lens to be too heavy. I don't know, I love it. So again light. So, uh, check it, I will 
show some pictures and uh, tell me what you think about it in comments. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe and see you in my next video where I will be to talking about some other lenses which I use and why and for what I use them. Okay, see you, bye.